Have you ever thought about what it takes to get your prescription filled? Probably not, but you might be surprised to find that it's a very serious effort. And you might be even more surprised to learn that there are a select number of high school students who are learning to do just that, as we'll see in tonight's School Patrol. So uh, what I'm going to do is call out what it is, and then they'll have to figure out what the abbreviation is on it. And those are the simple rules. We have some abbreviations that they commonly see on prescriptions they'll get. To pharmacy bingo. Two times a day. Lipscomb University pharmacy student John Scarborough. <laughs> three times a day. Is in charge of calling out the terms. Subcutaneous. And it's not long I think I got before it. one of these Overton High School students. Isn't it SQ? Has it right. Oh, bingo. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is part of a working partnership oh, then sub can, yeah, continues. between Lipscomb and Overton. So this course really is like a pharmacy tech course that you would take over the year. Doxycycline. With the emphasis on working. Working maybe to support the family or even working to then pursue a healthcare career, especially in pharmacy if they're interested in that. Dr. Rhonda Bryant. So we have two drugs. We have metformin, different strengths. So they have to pick the right strength. Says this groundbreaking program came as a result of being a pencil partner for Overton. And we were talking to Denise Wigington at the teacher planning day. It kind of progressed and it was really natural for us to say, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to put our resources together. Getting the information from the patient when they drop off the prescription. After the games have been played. Pharmacy students are going to be both the patient and the pharmacist, depending on the step. It's time to flip. Hi, this is a typical reaction to coding. The prescription. It's it's like a completely different language that they have to learn. She is interpreting the physician's prescription. The M&Ms were the extended, release. extended release. So she's so, figuring out how many so pills that she's going to need to put in that bottle. And the Skittles are the standard release tablets. And for how many days? And we can move on to actually entering the prescription now. Despite having gone over this in class, put teaspoons into milliliters, right? Filling a prescription is not as easy as they thought. Uh oh, we made a boo boo. I made a boo. -boo. Too. Uh. It's hard because if you do a pill short or a pill too much, like that's people's lives. And there's more than just the medication to consider. When you're actually billing the insurance, you're going to need the bin, the group, the PCN, their member ID, and this is actually like in the real world what you're going to need to um, fill a prescription. This program is only available in one other school in the state. We found out the directions, the dosage form, the quantity, how many refills. And it's a beneficial education for all involved. This is actually real life, and they're going to understand the process that we don't really think about when we go to the pharmacy and pick up a medication. After the course is completed, the students will be eligible to receive certification as a pharmacist's technician.